Hi everyone. Welcome to this section where we are going to learn about Remix IDE. So Remix IDE is our development environment where we are going to write our smart contracts. To get the Remix IDE, you need to write Remix IDE to your browser and it's the first link that you are going to click. And after the page is open, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to sign in or sign up. It's just automatically going to work. This will be the first display that we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and close this section. And as you can see, on the left hand side, we have a different section. And here we have tests, scripts and contracts. I'm going to click on the contracts. And as you can see, we have three different contracts that has been built for us already. We have some custom code here, but what we are going to do is different. We are going to create our own contract. To create our own contract, I'm going to right click on these contracts and I will say new file and then write counter.sol. So this .sol means that it's a solid file and that's what we are going to work with. So every file that we are going to create will have the extension of .sol. And here I have my new contract. Let me close these tabs. Here I have my empty page, which is going to be my contract. And now I'm going to paste my contract and you also have your contract down below. So go ahead and copy this contract code, create a new counter.sol file under this contracts folder. Let me close this one under this contracts folder. And let's paste our code. It's going to give an alert, but let's go ahead and say OK. And now we have our code here. So what we're going to do next is to compile this code. Compiling means basically it's going to run our code like any other programming language. It's going to use Ethereum virtual machine for this, which is called EVM. And we can see if we have any problem with the code with our contract or not. To do this, I'm going to go to this Solidity compiler tab. And I'm going to say compile. It's going to take a couple of seconds, but when we see this green line, it means that compilation is successful. Now that we compiled our contract, we can deploy our contract to test it. So for the deployment, I will click on this deploy and run transactions button. And here we can deploy our contract. So deploying contract means that putting this to a network for our testing purposes, we will locally deploy this contract. So we are going to have an environment inside this Remix IDE, which is going to mimic how Ethereum works. So we can have our tests in this environment. For this, I will select my contract in this contract section. As you can see, my contract is selected. And then we are going to click on this deploy button. But before clicking on this deployment button, our contract needs some parameters so that it can start itself. So our contract is a counter contract. We need to give the information. What's the initial value of this counter and what is this counter for? For that, I will click on this arrow. And as you can see, I have a section called initial value. I'm going to say I want it to be zero. And for the description, I will say example. And then I will say transact. And as you can see here, my transaction is successful. And now I have a deployed contract section down below. If I click on this arrow, then as you can see, I have three different functions. And these buttons are actually the function calls. So we can test our contract using these buttons. And if we look at our contract here, just take a quick look on the names. Don't worry, we are going to explain what this contract is doing in the next lesson. As you can see, we have a decrement counter, increment counter, and get counter value. And as you can see, we have the names decrement counter, increment counter, and get counter value as function buttons here. This orange buttons means that we are actually changing some data on the blockchain. So we are updating the blockchain. But this blue one means that we are actually just getting some data from the blockchain, but we are not changing anything. That's why we have this call near get counter value. Let's get our counter value. As you can see, our result is down below, which is zero. That's because we initialize our contract with value zero here. Next, if I say increment counter, then it's going to run my function as we can see here, it's successful. And now again, if I say get counter value, then we are going to see one. If I say decrement counter, 
Let's say it, and as we can see, it's successful. Let's call this get counter value function again. And now, as you can see, it's again zero. So this is basically how we are going to interact with our contracts. First, we are going to create our contracts under this contract section. So as you can see, here is our counter.sol. Then we are going to compile the contract. And then we are going to deploy our contract here and we are going to test our contract. Just a little bit additional information about the Remix IDE. As you can see here, we have a part where it says accounts. So here we have a lot of accounts and these are some mock accounts that is given to you. We've been using this account and you can see the address which ends with EDDC4. And we have other addresses with hundreds ether which is the coin for Ethereum network. And now we have 99% Ethereum here. And to get the contract address, you can click on this button. And be sure that when you are deploying your contract, your contract is selected here. Since I just have one contract is selected, but be sure that yours is selected as well. Thank you very much for listening to me on this video. And in the next video, we are going to dig a little bit deeper and see what does this contract do. Thanks again and see you on the next one.